I'm a mathematician by, <laughs> by qualification. I enjoy farming because it follows simple logic. Take a seed, put it in the ground, tender to it, it will grow into what the seed is. If you sell it, you earn. I love that about it. It's a simple flow of logic. Page four. Is our lettuce ready? Not yet. What about in that section over there? What, one week. One week? Yeah. Fresh in a Box is a technology company that actually happens to grow vegetables and distribute them to people's homes through the use of an e-commerce platform that we built. Um, it was founded by my husband, myself, and uh, our family friend, Rufaro Hiwai. This is one of my sad farming experiences. Yeah. When you grow like stuff and then it over matures. How many cauliflower heads do we lose here? Almost in years. It's too much What? 500 years. That's unfair. Mm. Guys, farming is just like gambling. Mm -hmm. mm. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I lost too much here. Mm, I say a lot of. One thing I don't love about farming is the way the market is not predictable, the way the weather is not predictable, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about the weather part. One hailstorm could set you back years. One heat wave will set you back years. So the impact of climate change and the realness of farming, that I don't enjoy. Sakuro, we need to water here. I'm sorry it's getting dry here. So this is the fresh farm. We started off fresh in a box from our previous home that we were renting. We sooner or later discovered that there were more people like us who had different types of vegetables that wanted to send them out to people. After two years of operating in a garage, we found this as an opportunity to say, let's find a place where we won't necessarily follow the trends of the farmer, but we'll follow the trends of what Fresh in a Box needs all the time. This is how we got to the Fresh Farm, and that's what we're doing. Hi, Claire. So I just wanted to find out, I saw that you registered on our website for the green peppers that are coming up that you've planted. Can we now book for like 100 kgs a week? I'm hoping that the, we don't have another heat wave in the, in, the, in, the, in the process. All right, Claire, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, that's all right. All righty, bye. You're welcome. I wrote a letter to the president. It was at a time when we had had a political shift in Zimbabwe. I'd also shifted from a lot of political activism into entrepreneurship. And the lessons that I learned in what it takes to be a business person in this country were really tough and they were costly to learn on the job. It felt like a lot of the problems that we were facing needed government to step in and just fix its systems. I've had to learn that nobody's going to fix the world for you to be able to then thrive. The whole idea and the premise of entrepreneurship is if you see a problem, find a way to fix it, and while you're at it, earn from it. Hi, guys. How are you? We need all hands on deck. So, accounts team, we're going to go pack. So, yes, farmers. Four men down. Four men down. Yeah. I, I can pack. We were pioneers of how e-commerce could change the way we distribute goods without necessarily having to go into a physical store. So anyone can buy from anywhere in the world, specifically buying for people in Zimbabwe. I'm missing one 2kg tomato. Uh, I'm always, I look at this stuff, it looks like the Matrix to me, but it's such, when, when you see the work and the apps, it's like, wow, this is amazing how young Zimbabweans uh, are coding such a world-class standard. I mean, it's really, it's really impressive. Uh, this COD, you're know, picking up this much cash, 
Uh, it looks like the only change, chi 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 chi. This one is paid. My my notes, you know, go through the notes, that kind of thing. Is this someone's box? Yeah, in fact, my box. The hardest thing is the cost of data. Um, in Zimbabwe, it's like we pay more for data than any other place in the African continent, right? So yeah. we've had to build our apps to be a lot slimmer, a lot smaller. How does the Fresh Farm plug into Fresh in a Box, especially at the times for when there are vegetables that are not in season that we struggled with partner farmers coming through for us? The collie that was coming from the farm ended up being sunburned. Oh, yeah, we actually, like, it was really yeah. bad. Like, but we lost, it's, like, it's still good collie, but we will need a backup. So let me do the delivery since we're short of drivers. I feel like a school kid all over again wearing uniform like in Form 1. My husband and I, Kuda, we make a team in the sense that everything that requires meticulous execution, that falls in my plate. Anything that requires creative design work, that is in his forte. When we bring that together, it stops everything from being an idea, but an idea that is well executed. We are very happy to see that for the ninth consecutive year, Young farmers have managed to celebrate each year's success in this manner. The overall Women Farm of the Year was none other than Nobam Sasu. <laughs> There are many women in farming. The visibility is a challenge on its own for anyone. You'd find that when you put yourself out there, a lot of more problems comes with it because everyone wants to now scrutinize why you are visibly doing what you are doing. And also trying to balance the enterprise of farming itself and then putting it on any media platform it's quite difficult. It takes a lot to juggle. It takes a whole team to do it. It's not a one-man job. Ah, Winning is fun. It's nice. <laughs> this is, this is what you were made for. Yeah. <laughs> you were born for this. I like winning, even in good things. <laughs> not living up to my potential scares me a lot. I've read many books, picked up some habits so that I may be able to say, am I doing the things that I think I'm capable of, that the world sees that I'm capable of? One, two, three. Watch out, we're not going to be rejected for this sunburned one. All right. I hope my children will be responsible and accountable for their own future. I hope that I will spend my days making choices that will show them how much it is in their realm of responsibility that they carve their way in the world. Number one, really important, important. Holiday, day at December. Auntie, harvest. overtime two dollars a day for for harvesting. Then, what times they do Christmas? So make sure to chase Come, let's find carrots for dinner. When I started off from my days of political activism, I still believe it, but then I don't think I live it now. I sooner or later realized that the world doesn't owe me a favor. So I took what I can do within my own sphere, and I told myself that I'll do it for myself, for my family, and for my immediate community. If I, if I impact two lives and change them absolutely differently from how they probably would have turned out, then that's good enough. <laughs>